Hey, Dystopia? After the release of my video, Solutocracy, I received several responses ranting about how it would be a dystopia. I was stunned. How could it possibly be that individual freedom would be seen as a dystopia? Let me make it clear. You will have complete choice of how you choose to live. If you don't like robots, you don't have to have any. You can live as the Amish do, with no technology at all. But you can't deny robots to ones who love them. You can live in a yurt in Mongolia if you would like to. But you can't deny a villa on the Riviera to one who desires one. You can be a hermit in a cave if you want to, but you can't deny social interaction to others. You can live on a farm and till the soil, keep animals and other farming activities with robots to help, or not. You can join any group that shares your interests. Artists, researchers, archaeologists, theater troops, robot builders, and on and on. You can live in luxury with robots as servants, or served by others who love to be servants, if any. You can live in a castle, if that is what you prefer. You can live in any way you choose. The matter of money is moot. If you want something, you can likely have it, limited only in items of scarcity, like lobster. And then it will be first come, first served. The products you can have will be made to highest standards, the food, the healthiest ways. The medicines will be vastly better, offered because they work, and not because they make a profit off treating you. The information you may have will be uncensored and unhidden. Self-education will be easy, and teachers will love to teach. You can follow your bliss, fulfill your potential, Pursue your dreams freely and unhindered by having to afford them somehow, having to afford education, having to afford to live. You no longer have to plug your energy in some way, somehow, to keep yourself and loved ones in food, clothing, shelter. You can spend your time with the ones you love, guiding your children to find their bliss. The family unit will be promoted. The betterment ethic will be promoted in place of the slave's creed called the work ethic. We will seek ways to make things better for having passed through this life from smiles and helping to inventions and advancements, from art and entertainment to teaching and healing. We may live as we choose within the three principles, laws, of ethics. About those principles, the legal system deals with two things, those principles and commerce. When money is removed, all the commerce legalities become pointless. What is left are the principles. Dystopia? Not at all. Utopia? Not quite. There will still be problems, but the system is designed to ethically solve for them. But the problems of 
poverty, oppression, wage debt, slavery, planned obsolescence, which creates the bulk of the waste on our planet, war, if you want peace, take the profit out of war, intrusion, bribery, strong arms, and profiteering will be solved for. It may not be a utopia, but it's leaps, bounds, and wormhole trips better than what we have now. See my playlist for the blueprint and details on how we can build vastly better here on our planet. Amaterasu Solar, Shill for Humanity. Love Always. Humanity will win. <laughs>